right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I know I'm here to get a board game, but I had to check out Star Wars first. Couldn't help myself. Okay, just got home a little bit ago from work, and uh, I want to run out to the store because something I want to get and start doing on this show is I want to get a single player, like, board game RPG. So I'm going to run to the store and see what's out there. Uh, maybe do some reviews on my phone. But first, um, I need to take out the trash. Oh, have to throw out the air mattress. It is getting darker earlier and earlier. Sign that winter is coming. Looks like I'm uh, gonna go to Barnes and Noble and check out what games they have. So let's go see. Okay, so first of all, before we talk about anything else, I have to say, go Dodgers. Again, they're trying to close out the Cubs, and I hope they're able to do it. I saw someone hit a grand slam, and they were up like 7-0, to zero, so I hope this is the time they can close that out. Second of all, you guys won't believe what happened to me at work today. Um, apparently, we had an earthquake drill. Okay, earthquake drill under my desk. At least it's not a real earthquake. I've never even been in an earthquake. Um, I know back in the Midwest we have tornadoes and we have the big sirens and all that, but yeah, today at work I learned what to do during an earthquake. Probably should have by now anyway. Been in California since like 2005. All right, if my camera shakes a little bit, it's because I'm going handheld. I didn't want to bring my tripod into Barnes & Noble, but I think this is the place to go. I considered, you know, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, places with board games, but if I want to get a single player RPG board game that's continuous and, and is ongoing, I think this is the place to go, right? I haven't been in a Barnes & Noble in a while. I don't even know where their board games are. Um, I know there's the kids section. I'd have to ask. I think this book is the story of how that Star Destroyer ended up on Jakku. That was right. Okay. Board games. Board games. No way. Harry Potter. Everything. Oh, that is so tight. Wish I could play the theme music right now, it's so amazing. Look at all the wands. I really wish I could get Steph, my girlfriend, to read the Harry Potter books. Um, if not though, maybe the movies. Okay, I think this is the section. All right, I was totally right. This is the section. So, and I was right about Barnes and Noble, so. Give me some props on that. You got one game here you can see. One to two players. A lot of these games are two players. Um, where is this one? Two players. Two to four. All right, I think I found one. Castles of Kaladin. So if you look at the back here, it's an actual board game. I'm not sure how the game plays, but if you look down here, it says one to four players. So and you can see the components, I think this might be exactly what I'm looking for. Well, Barnes & Noble was definitely the right place to go. They had some kind of like RPG board games and... Oh, shoot. I almost just got hit by a car, I think. <laughs> they, uh, they had some solo stuff, but it didn't feel like it was kind of this ongoing RPG that I'm kind of looking for. So I'm kind of wondering if I should just, you know, create my own game and have some fun. I don't know, some basic rules and, and just let, you know, my imagination take over. No way. 
dare I walk through there? I'm gonna have to try it. Not as crazy as I thought. Well, while I'm out here in Chino Hills, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner, but I wanna try something a little bit new, so check this out. Smash Burger. I have never had it, but I will give it a shot. Alright, so I didn't get the game that I wanted, but I had a great meal for dinner. Shout out to Smash Burger. That ended up being pretty delicious. And uh, come on, the Dodgers won. They're going to the World Series, man. That is awesome. Just got home and it is time for bed. I'm pretty tired, but I have to give a big shout out to Steph. Uh, congratulations on the Dodgers winning. I know I, I like the Dodgers and I'm um, definitely rooting for them, but she is like a diehard Dodger fan. So I know she's loving this right now. First uh, World Series trip since 1988. That's pretty cool. I also wanted to give a shout out to a couple of our podcast listeners. I just wanted to say thanks for letting us know that today's episode uh, had a uh, stereo problem, so we were able to fix it. And the new file that's on there, if you download the show now, is good to go. So, all right, everybody. Good night.